let me show you a way to weave a slit in your work without having to cut it later. You can actually do it on the loom and this is really useful for the times that you want to maybe weave a neckline and you want to have that really nice clean woven edge. You can even use this for things as small as a buttonhole. You can use it as a design feature. Anyway, let me show you. It's it's easy to do. It's a little bit of fiddling around with um, two shuttles, but that's not much of a problem. So I'm going to be using this dark grey thread, but to bring in, I'm going to bring in this second yarn as a contrast so that you can see where the different threads are going. But when you're doing this, you'll just be using your regular weft yarn. You won't necessarily be using two, unless that's the effect you're going for, of course. So we bring in our weft yarn, and now I have to decide where am I going to have my slit. So um, depending on what you're weaving, you may want to have it over here, in the middle, over here, wherever. I'm going to do mine here. So I'm just going to come out of the shed and sit on top of it for a minute with that shuttle. Okay, so we can weave that one and beat it. As you can see, we've only gone halfway. Now while we're in the same shed, I can bring in my second shuttle and I can take it through. But once we get to this point here, I'm going to pull down the tail so that it meets with but doesn't cross this grey thread that we've already put there. And then we can beat them in together. Okay, so my next shed is the up shed. And starting on the left, I'm going to bring my yellow through and I'm looking at which thread, which warp thread that yellow is sitting against. It's here. So I'm going to bring the shuttle out of there. Now, I'll put the yellow down for a moment. Don't want to cross these over or get them twisted up. And I'm going to take my grey through. And we're going to treat the edges like we normally would. And we're going to cinch in the edges and we're going to get that 45 degree angle. And then we'll beat. Next shed is the down shed. So let's have a look at how that's going. We've got that tail hanging behind there. The yellow is all contained to this side and the grey is all contained to this side. As I said, yours will probably be the same colours. Okay, so we come back to that central point underneath all of those warp threads that are sitting on top while we're in that down shed. Fix up our edges and we'll sit that one to the side while we do our second, second weft thread. Bring that through. So just um, just have a check that you're catching all of your the edges of your warp threads. That's important because you'll have trouble later. They won't all be contained. And that's what we want. We want neat contained edges and we don't have to fix them up later off the loom. It's all done. Okay, so back into the up shed. Bringing our yellow out to sit on top. Okay, so we'll put that over that side so we don't have to worry about it getting in the way. Then we've got our second shuttle coming through. So it's just a bit of back and forth, making sure that all of those edges are contained. Not too tricky. So you're just going to continue on with this until you have the measurement that you need, whether it's small or large. Set 
that aside. Make sure I catch the edge. And there we have it. If I decide that I'm finished weaving my slit there, I can just take this one for a dive at the back and I can cut that off and weave that end in later and just carry on plain weaving or whatever weave structure you're using. And just keep on like so.